We started out with 37 teams in this year's competition and have now whittled it down to the best six. And these teams are going to convince you that they are the next big thing in photonics. I'd like to welcome uh, Claude Florin from FastTree 3D. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, so my name is Claude Florin and our startup does fast three-dimensional imagers that see the scene around you like a picture, but also the distance. So why do we do that? Well, I don't know if you've ever been going, you know, driving your car very late and suddenly had to brake because a pedestrian was jumping on you or you were tired, you didn't see it. And these kind of unfortunate accidents, they occur every two minutes in the United States. Okay, and every two hours a pedestrian is killed. My own father was killed this way. So that's why we'd like to see in 3D in a way that our own eyes don't see it, don't, cannot perform it. Because we do that under adverse lighting condition. Either you're blinded because you don't have your sunglasses and you have too much sun in the eyes. Either it's low light, you know, the late evening and you have these collisions. Uh, that, that occur. So it's actually hard to do for your eyes and it's hard to do with sensors. The solution we are proposing is a simple semiconductor, one single chip, the size of uh, the one I have here and that you could see later on. Very small chip, the size of my thumb. And it includes many different things. But the first thing it has to do is it has to be power efficient since I send light, it's night, and I want to capture back as many as I can. So we operate by using single photo detector, only one photon, and I, I measure the time it takes to come back. You can see that LiDAR technology. Uh, that allows you, us to implement Ver the latest Vexel vertical cavity uh, uh, emitting lasers, very cheap lasers that have a high peak power. So that's the combination of these two innovation that makes it possible. Now you want to do it on an entire scene, okay, and see everything because you want to see these small objects, the number of people in that room. So for that, we perform 20,000 20, points of measure and we measure 1,000 times per second on that little chip. That is 20, potentially 20 million measures per, per second. It's a lot and it's enough to do that. We do it fast because the cars are moving and the pedestrians are moving. Okay. The third thing we do is we adapt it to, um, we make it programmable to, on one hand, adapt the quantity of light to the light conditions, less if it's a sunny day, more like that, or something like that, and also compute the average. What I'm interested in is the movement detection. So did the distance change or not change? How many scenes are in the distance? So I have a programmable computer that dynamically performs that. Some of the advantages are I'm just simply 100 times cheaper, 1,000 times less energy, 1,000 times uh, uh, more pixels, more resolution. It's absolutely fantastic. This is the dream of the entire $1 trillion automotive industry. They just thought it was not possible. If you read SPIE journal of last month, January, it's here on the thing, you will see that they complain that LiDAR technology to $8,000, I cannot make it ubiquitous. If it's $100, I could. So the market is interesting. The segment of the market we're looking at, which is pedestrian or rather urban driving, 100 feet, it's half of the collision. Okay, so actually only 8% of collision occur on highway. That's not the problem. The problem is short distance, uh, 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 quick reaction. That's exactly what we do. Okay, and 75% is in low light condition. That's exactly what we do. So we believe that that ship that I have on my heart will capture a large part of that new market. Currently, it's estimated to be 2 billion and we will have a 400 million business. But actually, it's so new that it might be in many more cars than I think. This is assuming. So, so we've engaged with 20 companies, had three contracts in the United States, in Asia, and in Europe. So we know there is something and uh, we can move on. 
Now, why are we capable of doing that? We're capable because of our past team experience. We have shipped in the past more than 100 million devices. Uh, engineer the chip in the Microsoft Kinect, did proximity sensor for safety in buildings, and we've done that in Academic, the three university that works with us, in, some, in, in which some of us worked in the lab, uh, has done more tens of thousands of CMOS single photo detector on chips, so we know how to do it. We've done that with five foundries, the, the biggest in the world and all that. So the team is fantastic. It's very pluridisciplinary. We have laser experts. We have machine vision experts. We have uh, digital analog uh, designers. And so it's a very comprehensive team that even large companies doesn't, don't, don't get together so easily. Our first proof of concept showed that we could measure at more than 100 feet with 4 milliwatt illumination. That's exactly what you want. OK. Uh, we'll bring it to the market here by first a developer kit. We intend to send the consumer to sell the, the, the chips. We have worked with five foundries. We come with a developer kit to engage with industries and we try to find partners. We can sell the chip or develop cameras. Cameras with people who have complementary skills. 2D, Fusion, other points. Claude, I'm going to have to ask Thank you, you to wrap it up. Thanks so very much. if you can help. Yep, time for questions. Right, let's give a big round of applause for all the participants.